Hi there, this is Loren with Esri Canada and today we'll be talking about creating groups and sharing in ArcGIS Online. Have you ever wanted to share some of your ArcGIS Online content with only certain people in your organization? Or perhaps with people outside of your organization? The way to do that is through groups. Today I'll be walking you through how to create groups in ArcGIS Online, how to invite users to your group, and how to share content to that group. So let's take a look. You can see that I'm already logged into my ArcGIS Online account. To start, let's navigate to the Groups tab. You will see here a list of all the groups that you are a member of. You can also see if you have any pending invitations to groups. To create a new group, click on the Create Group button. Let's start by inputting some of our group details. We can start by giving our group a name. Let's say that I'm using this group to share content of a special project about volcanoes. We can call this group Volcano Project. We will also need to provide a summary and tags. Once this part is done, we answer the questions which set up the group permissions. Who can view this group? So who can view that the group exists? We have three options, only group members, people in the organization, and everyone. Say that we want members of our organization to see the group. We will choose people in the organization. Who can join this group? We again have three options, those who request membership and are approved by a group manager, only those invited by a group manager, and everyone. Say that we want the group membership to be by invitation only. We will choose only those invited by a group manager. Who can contribute content to the group? We have two options, group members and only group owners and managers. Say that you want everyone who is a member of the group to be able to contribute content. We will choose group members. What items in the group can members update? Updates to an item can include changes to the item's description, tags, metadata, as well as content. This is an important option to think about because it cannot be changed once the group is created. Do we want members to be able to update only their own items or all items? If you choose to allow members to update all items, only users from within our organization will be able to join the group. Say that this group is to be created specifically to share content with members in a different organization than our own we will pick only their own items. After this, we can select how we want the group content to be sorted by. We will leave as default. If you want to, we can choose a thumbnail for our group. Click Upload Thumbnail, choose File, and browse to your desired image. If you wish, you can change the zoom level. Click OK. You will see our thumbnail is now uploaded. Once this is all done, click on Create Group to create the group. So here is our group. If we click on Settings, you can see that the permissions questions that we answered earlier are here again, so these options can be changed at any time. You can also activate Delete Protection to prevent the group from being accidentally deleted. Next, let's invite some users to our group. Click on the blue Invite Users button. You can use a user's username to invite them. You also have the option to search for members within your organization or outside. Say that I want to invite someone from outside my organization. I will uncheck the box and type in their username. Select and send the invitation. Once the user accepts the invitation, they will appear in the members list. For now, it's just me. Now let's share some content. I will navigate to my content and select the items I want to share. If you are sharing a web map or web mapping application, make sure to also share the data that is in the map. Then I can click on the Share button, go to Share Access, 
and select my group from the list. Share access and update capability shows the groups where members can update all items in the group. If you recall, we had not chosen that option when creating the group, so our group does not appear here. If we navigate back to the group, we can see that our content has been shared. Members of the group will now be able to access these items. And that is how you can share items with a select group of people in ArcGIS Online. That's it for this video, folks. I hope these instructions help you GISers in your day-to-day -day workflows in ArcGIS Online. If you found this video helpful, please click the like button below and be sure to leave any comments for future video suggestions. To keep up to date with more videos like this, you can subscribe to our channel using the subscribe button below the video. Thanks for tuning in.